What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. I'm your host, Tidia Shali. We're doing chapter three today. Sorry about the uh, first two chapters having no commentary. Basically, it was late at night. I didn't want to wake anyone. Okay, let's go. Chapter three. Sorry. <laughs> What a beautiful car. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Oh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic <coughs> eternal Deadline. Damn. Gothic. I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Dude, she looks like the girl from... The movie Monster House I saw as a kid. <laughs> I, I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, who are the victims? You know what? Puzzled. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere is gotta have some idea well we could always just ask frank stone huh crystal ball ouija board what no, will they please. say and miss bb's hotline the dead are just a seance away. okay okay i <laughs> called miss bb once i tried to speak to mary shelley but miss bb thought that was my grandmother so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup <laughs> did you get a recipe oh damn then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. We do get reporters asking around sometimes. 
really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sure if that all died down anyway. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah, saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> What? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. Kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. Well, chill. You want a piece of me too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No. I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 10 bucks? So let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure, of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So maybe if you actually have something real to offer? You help us pay for the repairs, and I don't tell Dad why you're suddenly wearing so much perfume, we have to open a window every time you walk in the house. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. If Dad knew I was smoking, I'd never hear the end of it. Take it or leave it. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. You're just so cute when you try to blackmail me. Like a little baby mobster. I'm serious. You know, all I've done is take Dad's shit since I got home. What's one more thing? No dice. Uh. I wouldn't really tell him. Yeah, I know. You're bad at bluffing. It's sweet. But you gotta come up with something better than that. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. 
all of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then Pardon? I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Oh, I should have went for the 20. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, <coughs> it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Well, yeah, we're going to the curiosity shop. It's not like we can't do both. Surely not. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. I'll lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still head up the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please, come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> well, let's see. Ooh, and, and, goodies. And, uh, no. Loot goblin. Maybe this What's one? this? Oh, Where cute bunny. The... Uh, I'm guessing this is like a dead by daylight sort of thing that I don't understand. I think I have the game. Just never played it. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, okay. What else do we got? I don't know what that I love is. That. But it looks painful. That looks cool. What is that? Like a scythe? Like a club? I'm not sure. Even. Button. Smile. Oh, I'll turn it around so we can see its smile. Guess not. Okay. Something about a TV. Who would want to watch this creep fest? 
You're making a movie about horror. Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. They up in the air like that. Ooh, hello, crow. His friend. Figures. We don't want to trespass on them. I'm gonna go this way. What's this? Film. Ooh. <laughs> the trapper. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Oh. Creepy. Extra creepy. Huh. All right, let's double check here. Good, I'm recording and it's perfect quality. Okay. Let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. How much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It's ten bucks. Ten bucks? Uh-uh. Don't say it's too high. Come on now. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to- Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Emergency sock quarter. Wait, you're gonna buy milk with the quarter? What is this, the 50s? Did I miss something? Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Huh. 
That's not... That doesn't bode well for us. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh. It's a croc. Four names, four trials. Something, something, a hush. Okay, obviously that's the milk. What do we have over here? Oh, I'm playing. I can't play. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't be shooting my own barrier. What is this, Space Invaders, I'm guessing? Right? Okay, perfect. There we go. Hell yeah. Well, it's pretty easy. probably gonna be like hell on earth when I actually try you know it's gonna be so much yeah it's like rain now oh whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing Why are you getting closer that's not allowed Come on. Wonder how far I can actually go. Oh my god, they're raining so hard. Ha. Ah. It's getting much harder. Okay, rigged. Oh! Focus, focus. Oh, the thing above them is also shooting. Oh, 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 oh! After this one, it's it's enough. Ooh. 
Oh, yes. Okay. He does time. Got the high, high score. score on the arcade machine. That's actually an achievement. Nice. I'm an ace. Woo. Okay, milk. It's time for milk. Come on now. All right, I need to pull with the mouse and not the S arrow. Okay. Yeah. Why didn't they have someone at the front? Guess I just gotta... It was another time entirely. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. Oh, someone's <laughs> missing. <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Damn. It is another time entirely. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. I didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches oh. that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to oh. shoot the rest. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Oh. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh yeah, uh, let me just get my bag. <sighs> Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Ooh. Oh, I do. But you gotta tell me one thing. Is it true? What really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. <laughs> the real story. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Nah, I, I couldn't. Come on! All right. But you've got to promise to keep it to yourself, all right? Scout's honor. They caught it to steal mail. But it turns out you can't steal a mill. All right. You got me. This is what I do. <laughs> you ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. 
I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Damn, should have went to the drugstore instead. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. Left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> We're going to peek. We should. She in invited us. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? <laughs> New Augustine got cash, but not like 
This kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, a leak collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay, now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much, but the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't yeah, deny okay this place would make things. an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheap from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy, so I got these pants from his guy's guy, had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Huh. Right? Now that was oh. a curious sound. Don't tell him. Okay. Oh, you can be sure of that. Ah, uh, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thing. No. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. Oops. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now... That is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Huh. Okay, thank God. Whew. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Makes sense for someone that has a lot of money to have all this. Vent override. Temporal machinery. Looks like practically every room in the house. 
But where's our host? Nowhere to be found. Except for the one with no signal. Probably. I would think she's that careful. Wait, can I close it? Can I close it back? No? Okay. I really would like to close that. Leave things as they were found, so she doesn't get suspicious of us. Cool statue. Ooh. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Missing? What is it missing? Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Okay. The face Sensational of is trash. <laughs> Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Sheriff Lloyd Kusick. Doesn't like the title hero. Yeah, because he wasn't the hero. Man. That's evil. Sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. I'm out of state and a little green for my liking. Not my first choice, the flat foot. Okay. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd... S oh. He held the line and reported back anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew this was it. I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell myself. Huh. So he... So he lied. That it... That he was holding the line. Huh. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. No, no. Yeah? Can I alienate her what some more? What would you more? do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Oh. Who's Dan? You. Not in a million years. Oh. No way. Hey, you. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like... That's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories?
Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light, and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more daily videos, walkthroughs, just like this one. Also comment, I love hearing from you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.